In this video, I want to show you how to remove echo from your audio recording using Adobe Audition. I'm also going to be showing you how to remove noise from your audio recording you know, during your church program. This is for you if you are the one in charge of recording and editing the audio, the sermons in your church. All right, let's dive in. The first thing is to import your audio into Adobe Audition. Next, you, you want to select the section of the audio you want to edit. So for this audio, I'm going to select everything, which is Control A, and it's highlighted everything. The next thing is to go to Effects, click on Noise Reduction and Restoration, then go to the Reverb. So the Reverb is the tool we're going to be using for this tutorial. I'm going to play the audio first. As a church media personnel, you have to and I'm going to turn on, I'm going to toggle on this the reverb trends of modern day and you have to keep up with trends and technology. You can see it's clearer. The grain of the sound is clearer. And that's because the reverb uses machine learning to remove echo in your recording. You can use this toggle bar to choose how much you want the echo to be removed. Okay. So if you use it too high like this, it's going to cut off some parts of the pitch, you know, so you have to just toggle it to the perfect place. Things like AI and ChatGPT. You see, the quality has reduced, so you have to just toggle it. And how you can and use it to streamline your work and also... Yeah, so around the middle region, that is where the sound is actually perfect. So there's no best number I'm going to tell you. Just know that you have to just toggle it to find the perfect place where the sound is perfect. It's different because your audio recording is different where it was recorded is different and the equipment used in recording is different so you have to like find the best place by just listening to it so you can actually hear the sound crisp and clear when you are done click on apply and this will be applied throughout your audios this is just one of the tactics of removing echo from your audio there's also another one i want to show you now and it's called noise gating it's also a tool of adobe edition which is very cool and what it does is apart from removing echoes you also silences the parts where the speaker is silent so where the speaker is silent it silences it completely and those places where you know the breath of the speaker the breathing like those breathing um, sounds are also reduced significantly to navigate there the first thing you want to do is to go to window amplitude statistics and scan the selection it's going to scan go to average RMS amplitude and you get the figure 27.81 decibels. So you're going to save this number. This number is what we're going to use. So I'm going to close this 27.81. Go to effects tab, amplitude and compression and choose dynamics. So this is a noise gating effect. You can see auto gate. It has three tools, but the auto gate is what we're going to be using for this. Choose default. You can use this button to toggle it off and on. Toggle it off and on. Come to threshold and put the figure that we got, minus 27.81. Then this release is in 100. You can move this one upwards to around 50. And let's listen. That's why our work entails a lot of um, development. You keep testing out new things, you keep trying out new things, you keep innovating in the work. So, okay, and you can hear that so clear, no echo, crisp like biscuit. When you are satisfied with the sound that you're getting, you can click on apply and it will be applied to the selection. And there you have a perfect audio clip that is free of echo. So the second part I'm going to be showing you now is how to denoise the audio, how to remove noise from your audio. So I'm going to be using another clip. The first thing you want to do, uh, we need to find the place where we can scan the noise. I'm just going to select this part and go to effects. Go to noise reduction and restoration, capture noise print. So what this takes is it records this data of the highlighted portion as noise. So it's capturing that place as noise. It wants to know the noise because Adobe Audition uses machine learning and uh, AI technology to be able to remove, to edit audio. So you capture the noise print, click OK, then select the whole clip and go back to effects noise reduction and restoration then click on noise reduction process and you can just play around with this to know how much you want to reduce the noise and let's say apply let's play as a church media personnel you have to keep up with the trends 
okay so when you apply this you can see it has become thinner so it has cleared out every noise in this clip you can just see the difference i'm gonna you can see how it was before and how it is now so it has completely removed the noise in the audio so in this video i've already shown you two tricks to remove echo from your audio which is using the reverb feature and using the noise gate feature and the second one is how to remove noise from your audios using adobe audition if you have any questions on this video please don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video and then i'm going to be here to reply in every of your comments and if you found this video helpful like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updated every time we upload a new video tutorial like this helping you to become the best thank you for watching this video i'm going to catch you real soon